Hey guys, what's up? Uh, a funny process today. Uh, time for uh, new stuff for process. Some gold. Uh, everybody love this little guys. Uh, not much gold I expect. It got a good yield, but uh, it's very rare and uh, only one or two on some board, not always. Uh, on server board, today we are talking about a crystal gold oscillator. Okay, you wanna see? Here we go. Only these I collect from that 200 kilogram motherboards, observer board and other stuff. And okay, let's see how much we got. Fifty-one point two. Two point five. Okay. What I do first? I want to soak them uh, in an HCL to remove some some tin. But first, I want to crush them. But why? Because I always. First love to crush them, just a little speed up dissolving process. Looking very good. We do some stainless tests. This is stainless test for a gold crystal oscillator. It's positive. Okay, just want to show you, this is some gold which I drop, come 
on, folks. Uh, you see that? It's gold on the bottom. But this white stuff is actually urea. Uh, urea is cool when solution is on normal temperature or uh, hot. But uh, now it's a uh, minus and it's very cold. So that urea is crystallized back, but I'm not sure why. It's such a such a big amount because I add just one spoon, but it's fluffy. You see that? So it's not a problem. When I start to filter that gold, I just add a little hot water and water will dissolve that. guys after we precipitate gold and melt this is what we got this is 0 0.4 maybe uh, my scale not good but 0 0.4 0 0.5 gram gold from uh, this uh, amount of uh, crystal gold oscillator uh, from this amount crystal gold oscillator and uh, I'm pretty satisfied I burned that with the micro torch so it's very bad shape see that but it's pretty clean so it's not bad uh, approximately uh, this 2025 this uh, crystal oscillator will give you amount of uh, gold similar like uh, some ordinary ceramic CPU. It's not bad. Okay, guys. See you around in some next video. Subscribe. Have fun. Goodbye.